Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics. This week's questions answer video, how do you store your batteries? Probably a question you wouldn't have heard, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago and even further back, but some devices are high drain. Uh, generally for, you know, home defense gun or, or duty gun, you're probably not gonna replace your batteries that often, depending on how much the light itself actually gets used, but handheld lights, um, I've, I've killed the set of batteries in a handheld light uh, on duty uh, during a shift and, and had to fish around on my patrol bag for more batteries. Another issue you can have with especially uh, like uh, CR123s is they can discharge, they can explode. Uh, I've had students, it's happened a few times in low light classes or classes where lights or other devices were being used where they just had their batteries in their pocket and it was raining or it was just really humid and moist and they were kind of damp. and batteries made contact in just that right little way and one of them or both of them exploded in their pocket which is kind of a scary thing and it actually sounds not too much unlike a uh, muffled gunshot and can potentially cause injury so battery storage is there, there's there's some options out there uh, but i have one specific one that's definitely my go-to i use the theorem cell vaults uh, both for traditional um, CR-123s as well as double A's. Pretty sweet little device. You can get three, uh, three of our CR-123s in, in here. Uh, it can clip to Molly, duty belts, any kind of gear you want because it's this whole surface here can be used as a mounting. Um, and even if it does come open or anything like that, it's, it has to be obviously completely inverted to dump the batteries out. And there is a little bit of a snug tension in there, so it uh, gives you a little added degree of security. They also make uh, a larger version which can store even more batteries, which I like a lot. During night vision classes and uh, low light classes, I go through batteries teaching, students go through batteries taking the course. Um, and for duty use, or if you work night shift or something like that, it's no big deal. In fact, I do it for my, my duty belt. I just have one of these on there just in case I need to replace batteries in my light because most of your handheld lights and weapon mounted lights, optimum runtime is right around an hour. Um, maybe not a weapon light, but a handheld light, you can definitely burn through that hour optimum runtime. Uh, very easily in a shift depending on what's going on and what you need the light for. Cell vaults are also waterproof and like with the big one you could remove the center divider and put any other things in here that you don't want to get wet or you don't want exposed to the elements or the environment that you're in. Uh, there are other options out there. Um, some of the uh, some people use shotgun cards or they'll use a, uh, something that's very similar to shotgun card that you can go in a magazine pouch or in its own little pouch on their helmet or something like that and those store batteries but Nylon absorbs moisture and that could lead to potentially um, a battery discharge, which we don't want, especially if it's on our head. Uh, so I like something that's going to self-contain the batteries and protect them from the elements as much as possible. Again, if you don't find yourself needing that many batteries uh, through training, practice, or occupation, then this might not necessarily be for you, at least for batteries, but you could use it for other things, survival matches and things like that. Um, but that answers the question. I hopefully, because this is pretty much the only device I use for battery storage besides the boxes and the, and the, the blister packages that they come in. Uh, but anything that's going to my gear is going to be in a cell vault. If you have any other questions on something like this or on any topic whatsoever, uh, you can drop it in the comment section below. I'm Aaron Cowan with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.